our country thought it was extremely disrespectful to kneel for that what? flag. The way we did it was colonization. What do you, I'm not, we're, we're, you're going to- Not what I'm asking you. I thought what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that people of color, Native Americans in this country strongly disagree, especially the ones at Standing Rock, disagreed with anyone kneeling for the flag as they see the flag as the blood of this country, and they think what he was doing was incredibly res disrespectful. You don't get to say that, so, that you fucking know everyone's mentality and approaches to I'm whether that was disrespectful or not. Something that I never said. All I said was that there's buzzwords on both sides. That's all I said. You're doing the buzzing, dude. You're doing the conversation. You're doing the buzzing. Give me their no, buzzword. What's sides. their buzzword? The left is guilty of it as well. They had buzzwords. No, we're, no, you, you blame the right. What's their buzzword right now? The buzzwords. What's their buzzword? Saying. Huh? What's their buzzword? Give me one. That what? What's a buzzword the right uses to shut down conversation? It is. It, what, it, what is a buzzword that the right uses to shut down conversation? Uh, one is, let's see, uh, if you don't like it, you can leave or be anti saying you're not patriotic. Yeah, if you're not trying to be a part of this community, if you see they yourself are, as trying to fix it, trying to fix it. If you don't think that, that they're trying no, to fix it, you just you. said, Emmy, the, qu the thing they say is if you don't like it here, leave. That's shutting down conversation. How? That's all I'm saying. How? If I'm saying if I'm saying that there's if I'm saying that I don't like racism, like well, if you don't like it, leave. Like no, I'm trying to actually make it better. I'm actually. They're not saying it. that they, they didn't say that about racism. They say that about America. You're twisting their words. No, because they're going to say this is, this is the one America. country that fucking died for you. Okay, that, that country doesn't that's mean even that there's not racism, and that doesn't mean that there isn't shit that's happened. Just because they chose to that's die. Not, for you that's not at all what I'm saying. You said that they are trying to shut down conversation. Their comment is. If you don't like America, leave. Not if you don't like racism. You but did that. If you, but that's when they're bringing it up. If I'm no, it's not. About they racism. say it about everything. Yes, again, exactly. Buzzwords. That's I'm, I'm American. I'll say the God, same goddamn thing. If you don't, if you think I right. shut down, so do, am I shutting down conversation? Yes, that's buzzwords. So that's you think I'm, I'm shutting down conversation when I say, if you don't like America, fucking leave? Yes, that's okay. the same thing. That's, all right. that's all I'm trying to say. That's all right. I guess I'm a racist. I'm not, I ne when did I call you a racist? I'm a racist that shuts down conversation, doesn't want to when listen to black you people. That, you're going towards racism. I never even said that. I just said that buzzword. I don't know why you're going to this extreme Because thing. those aren't buzzwords. Problem. Yes, to shut down conversation. How? I'm that's conversing it. with you, asking you how that's shutting down. I'm literally using saying, the term. But again, police brutality. I'm bringing up Colin Kaepernick. So when Colin Kaepernick. What kneeled, did Colin Kaepernick do about police brutality? What did he do? Yeah. He, first off, he donated a million dollars. And made millions program. more. Huh? Made millions more. So what? He donated it in the same time. He made he millions it. more grifting. Oh, stop it. You said, he what did. did he do? He did that. He did. That's after the fact. That's after the fact uh -huh. when they decided to do it. When he did okay. it, he said, I'm going to donate. And put okay. My money Was he the first money. person to do that? Huh? Was he the first person to do that? No. This, it's interesting. It's happening. So what? Okay. What's interesting. He, Huh? So he's not the first to do it. Okay. Yes. And who benefited before him? No one else has benefited really. Right. The, during Except the for him. Muhammad Ali. But Marshawn Lynch, Lynch did it. Huh? Marshawn Lynch did it. Okay. So what? I don't know what your point is. I, I'm asking what how 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 that is. What did what did Colin Kaepernick do for police brutality reform? Uh, should I send you that link too? He donated a million dollars mm -hmm. towards. Those just because somebody donates a million dollars i'm asking yeah, what I'm bring up right now this Come dude on. was raised by a bunch of white right. people he could be so more what? obama who cares he said know your rights campaign know okay your rights campaign. so th how was that effective you said he did. first up it's not about effective you asked no. what does he want to do Everyone how was that him. fighting police brutality yeah. what in his thing would effectively fight police brutality That's the way he choose to fight it if you don't agree with the way he chose to fight it he chose to fight it and donated money he chose he to fight it in a way that served work. his own interest i'm and asking you know. how it helps black people in baltimore how how does it fight police brutality they say know your rights in regards to being stopped by cops yeah, no, is, is, is any of the them. issues of these not knowing your rights? You, where, no, again, again, you're saying what did he what do? Does, he what does, you said his actions For is you, an example. Someone could be like, someone could be like Rosa Parks sitting on the bus. What does that do? What does that help? That's her way of fighting. Everybody but it would be tangible. To do. That's tangible. You, you, no one could say that reasonably. What I'm trying to yes, tell you in, is. In the 
in at that time no but, but the fact, dude yeah. she didn't go turn around and sign a million dollars of contracts with commercial industries that like hold on like Nike, yeah. who actually create this fucking culture all over the country using yeah. slave labor to make their yes, fucking products. Yes, so he supported slavery in China Kaepernick. in order to defend yes. police brutality in America. Talking about Nike? I'm not talking about Nike. I'm talking about Colin Kaepernick. I'm telling you about what he did. He supported he slavery in China did. in order to what? What? When he was kneeling. You're talking about when he was kneeling and what he was trying to do. That's what he did. These are stuff that happened after. No, how do you know what he was trying to do? Because all of his actions say all he did was seek self-interest. No? First off, all he did was kneel during the national anthem, and the media went to him asking questions, and he responded. Okay. The other people were the ones that were like, well, what? fuck this shit. That made it bigger. If they never put a media camera on him, he, did, he would have just He didn't go it. stage it events. He didn't stage a whole event. He, he hasn't he hasn't gone out and made speeches that have absolutely nothing after to do with he, he's got a dude that's never spent time in the hood his entire life he has no idea what he's talking about why did, first off is what he's saying wrong yeah about police brutality yeah i just explained to you how it's not disproportionate against blacks it's not it's, it's disproportionate most against white females second against asian males okay He's talking about but yet he wears a shirt that says all Black Lives Matter. His family was actually in, fought in the military and other things like that. So Who? again, huh? Who? Colin Kaepernick. What about him? What did you say that his part? Of? Was, he had family that was in the military and he was actually guided by white Nate white Ford, family. Who told him to sit. Who told him to kneel instead of sit? I, I know, but so what? That's someone else's opinion on what that would do. I yes, I mean, but again, you're asking what he did. You might. What did he do? Tangible he outside of his own interests. He did. You can't. Everybody does something in some type of self interest. You doing these interviews or some point of your self interest. No self interest other than myopic pleasure to make sure that I know what's actually happening. Every you. Right. And that's after the fact. At the time, he did it in regards to what? Highlighting the issue. If the stuff that happened after, you're getting. But he doesn't know the, the issue. Happened. Neither do you. Again, first off, that's fine. Look, you're saying, what did he do? So this he's is highlighting he a lie. How is it a lie in regards to fighting police? Do you say police brutality doesn't exist? No. Police brutality does not exist? No, of course it does. Okay, so then what is the issue? It is a crime. It's not really a crime because we're seeing cops beat the shit out of people all the time and nothing happened. Uh, well, I mean, a good 75% uh, of the murderers in Baltimore get away with it. I don't think that's really a good argument. Do they get away with it because they don't find the person or is yeah. it because they're on camera? Or they Because if they because you're making it seem like if they saw the person who shot them, they'll just get away with it. Right, no, but these ones on happen. camera, these ones on camera don't get away with it. What's your example? If they do. What's the example? I, literally. I'm asking. There are cops. I will, again, you don't find these as violent. Like when I told you with the peaceful protesters, beating people and pushing people and 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 but they were um, acting within policy if they break policy they will be disciplined exactly. really so if they break policy and you're saying that 97 percent of not 99 are basically saying oh they're just bullshit so they're saying that they're actually breaking policy but they're not actually the problem is the policy you keep looking at the individuals policy. looking for vengeance. Again, I'm saying that policy is an issue that you're saying that if someone- It's the only it, issue. If the whole country was racist, but had a whole bunch of laws that protected its execution, would that be yeah. better? That if, look, I don't think that will get- If the whole country was racist, but nobody committed racist acts, would that be better? Um. Yeah, because of look, course, all that matters is actions. It's right? action, okay? right? But the action that the left and you are still arguing for is to be the ones in power to you actually. One, you talk to me. Don't talk to other people. Talk to I me. am because this is your version of accountability. What am I saying in regards to more power? Your version of accountability power? isn't changing policy because you don't know about it's the policy. Powerful. What you know is a whole bunch of cases that make people look racist or make people look Ooh, like victims. I'm finding, what are you talking about when I'm seeing a cop beat the shit What out policy of do you think is the most important to change for I'm police brutality? When I'm seeing victims, for when police I'm seeing, brutality, yeah. what Listen, is the most important yeah, policy okay. to change? When I'm seeing videos, videos after videos after videos of videos of videos, and I'm like, look, it could be training. Great. It could be training. 
But then when I'm seeing individuals get off on stuff that I'm looking at as completely egregious, I'm like, so is you wanted the vengeance, huh? Huh? You wanted the vengeance. It's not vengeance. It's that these people get tried. You're not saying that the action isn't stopping. You're not saying that you really are upset that the policy didn't change. You're actually, you're I'm literally, upset with all of them. dude, you're literally saying that your problem is that you didn't get vengeance. It's not vengeance. It's accountability. No, putting somebody into a prison cell is not accountability. It's not accountability. You're actually hearing it. So what? Yes. I don't want people, I don't want cops going around just fucking murdering people. Do you think it, because they're not in prison. is a prison cell accountability? No, I think our prison system is a fucking joke. Okay, so accountability is a change in policy, thing. right? Huh? Is it accountability would be a change in policy, right? Accountability is change in policy, yes. So what policy is the most important one to change that you've learned from all this? Um, mine is equal accountability of the law. So one thing is if someone is Happened. The policy is not look, dude. All there is equal accountability under the law and policy. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Because again, the fact is, if let me tell you this, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna ask you. What some law some. is Hold unequal? On. Let me say. Let me ask. Let me say it real quick. If we saw Derek Chauvin, if Derek Chauvin was an ordinary individual on the street, putting his knee into someone's neck for ten minutes until he died, would he be arrested immediately? If it's on yes video? Yes or no? If it's on video? Yes, the same way that we yeah, saw. Yeah. Yes, did that happen? No. He did not get arrested immediately. Because he's a cop. That's all I'm asking for. Because he's a cop. Yes, exactly. Because he's a cop. That's the issue. You're well, saying it, and yet for some odd reason, I don't know why there's that disconnect. Because he's a cop. I'm explaining he's the disconnect the to you. Thing. The I'm cop. The exact same thing. No, no. The cop is doing what you asked him to. I didn't. First off, stop saying what I wanted. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's why I keep, like, Then you need to change the policy and not worry about equal We're accountability. We're having a conversation about what other people are thinking. I keep saying, let's have a conversation between me and you. Okay. And we, you keep going over to these other people. Emmy, we I've are. I've never said those things. No, we are. Put words in their mouth. We, we are, Emmy. So equal accountability, you're again making the argument for what? What would the equal, you're saying they should be locked up or you're saying the person that the citizen no, shouldn't. That they should be listen, that listen. You said equal accountability. So should that person, should the cop be locked up just the way that person is, is what you're saying? No, I never even said towards locking up. There would have been no protest. You said, would the citizen been arrested immediately no. if, if you wanted equal? Immediately, there would not have been the protest. There would not have been. Th that's, that's, that's a weird thing to, to confidently state. But there wouldn't be. I, I don't believe you at all. I don't believe why? that statement would be. Do you know why, why, why protests exist? No, no, let me ask you a question. Why so, do protests exist? Because people want to bitch and they don't know what to do. No, well, it's not. That's not why protests exist. And that's why there's this huge disconnect between the right and okay. the left. You don't know why other people protest, Emmy. The reason why people protest hmm. is because they want accountability. That you have to put a voice out there to be like, this is what we accountability want. Accountability is Let not vengeance. This is the, here, here's the reason. If you're reason asking for him to be locked up, you're asking for vengeance. It's because you keep cutting me off when I'm trying to explain it. Every time you're cutting me off in the middle of my explanation, every okay. single time. So we're going back in the circle. Let me finish my point. Your point's premised on a lie. No, it's not. I'm, you didn't even, how do you, can you say it? Because you're- You didn't know what I was going to say. All right, go ahead. Because you keep saying, because of because you're saying you want him in jail. I never said I wanted him in jail. Do you just want him arrested? That's it. So, so what's that mean? See, so what we wanted- So you just want to walk him through the booking? No, that the person, there's some accountability that there's just not him kneeling on someone's neck and then knowing that they can get away with it and go about their day. I don't know why you're That's saying that, why step. they can get about it and go with the day. So you wanted him arrested and then just like fingerprinted or what? No, because again- the, because Dude, again, say what the fuck you want. I'm Please saying, just answer me. Yeah, what I want is him to go through the same system that we are in some type so of- So you want him That's to go the through point. and be booked in the, in the in, for, get his mugshot taken? The same thing that happened right then that has already happened. I'm asking, dude, this isn't, this isn't difficult. You said you want him to be treated. I'm asking you how you want Derek Chauvin to be treated. Right I, now? No, right no, now. At, immediately. Well, so as soon as the incident went over, okay. right? You yes. want him what? You want him booked like a regular person would be and then put, put up bail or what? And then it, now it got extended to even farther because it took longer because we saw the situation. No, no, no. Emmy, Emmy, so, hold on. what I'm, I'm, I'm do you finish. want to do I'm with him? I'm answering your question. You're not. Mike, 
I am. You, okay, you he chokes the guy. He chokes the guy. Now what? Great. George Floyd dies. Now what do you want? Great. He gets arrested. Then after that, we want to see if it's actually going to okay, be Okay, so you arrest him. Now let me ask you, you want to arrest him. So now you're going to go to an officer's house. You're going to lock up this officer. And you're okay. going to take him to the booking station. You're going to take his butt shocks and fingerprint him. Okay, yes. And then he's going to see a court commissioner. Okay. And then he's going to post bail. That's what you want. I don't know. Again, these other situations. That's what happens to a normal person. Is that what you want? What I want is for this, yes. But. Dude, just let's stay. Please, let's stay. Let's stay on focus. I'm trying to ask what you want. And this is my whole problem. You people don't know what you want. We do know what we want. Okay. So so now he's. Why did you bother mugshotting and fingerprinting somebody who you already know who they are? But again, they wants to be charges that are filed. The point of bu- of arresting somebody immediately is positively identifying them before they meet the court commissioner. How okay. is that relevant? How is what relevant? How is it relevant to do to go take the fingerprints in a mugshot of somebody again, who you already have the fingerprints the in a mugshot of? Is would this guy have been arrested if there weren't the protests? And I don't believe that. I do not believe that there were not the protests that he would have gotten even arrested or even charges filed. You can believe that all you want, but there's zero evidence for that. So I'm only again. It wasn't until Emmy. I'm asking you what you want. Can we please stick to what you want? Please just follow me, please, so I can understand one damn thing. So now he's booked. Now he's booked, and he sees a court commissioner. Great. Right. And he posts bail, and he goes home. Okay. Right. So now, why was that important? Well, there's charges that we wanted filed. Well, why would you rush charges? That's a terrible, terrible decision. You want to make sure you have all your solid case and all your ducks in a row before you file charges. Well, first off, that happens with ordinary citizens every single day. What when does? you pull me over, listen, when you pull me over in regards to just a traffic ticket, I have to go to technically traffic court immediately. Charges I, are technically I, filed immediately. Uh, that, that doesn't happen in, in Baltimore, so I don't know. But, but again, see, exactly. But again, those happen. But those are local issues, so that's another point. See, that's the whole thing. Is you have control over that. What do you want? I'm telling no, no, no. You what I'm I just, want. Emmy, I'm still, I got to go. This has been too long. But I, I just, I'm yeah, trying to yeah. understand once what you actually want. And so for like Derek Chauvin, you could say that you I'm don't think he would have been arrested. But what no. I'm telling you is, is it's terrible police procedure to arrest on such a high profile case and make charges that quickly. That's terrible. Why? He'll just be innocent if not. No, he's not going to just be innocent. You can take him home and you can tell him he can't go anywhere. Yes, but that's the thing. He's a cop. The rules are different. Yes, exactly. I don't, yes, the rules are different. And that's what we have an issue is that there's different rules for cops, Mike. Yes, because they're only doing, they're doing what you asked them to be. So there will be, they're employees. I think people are ignorant in regards to what they're Yes, I hear you, but there are different. Emmy, there are different rules for armed security guards, yes? yes? And I have an issue with those. You shouldn't. Well, These are people. You can't just shoot someone in the back. Just no one, you it's gun. illegal to shoot somebody in the back. No, it's not. If there's not a reason, there's illegal to. You there's can't just a... shoot somebody for no reason. Yes, but if you give certain justifications and certain basically wiggle room around it, they will. Meaning, if you feel that an officer is in fear, an officer is in fear the entire time at his job. But you have to agree that they were in fear of deadly They're always force. in fear. And can, you can I, no, let me, let me explain the law to you, Emmy. You have to believe that they were in fear, reasonable, reasonable fear of their life or someone else's life. That's the legal standard. Yeah. So and somebody, a court, a court has to be assembled and a jury has to hear if it's very reasonable or not. You understand that, right? But what about the Terrence Crutcher? The woman who shot, do you know, remember Terrence Crutcher? Yeah. Yeah, Terrence Crutcher standing there. Yeah. She was standing outside, literally, hands yeah. are up. She's like, go reach for that. He slightly yeah. touches the door. She shoots him in his chest. Yeah. She felt fearful of her life. Yeah. Nothing happened to her. Nothing happened. That's not true. So again, there's certain guidelines that That's are That's not true that nothing happened. happened. Nothing happened to her. It's not true. She was fired. Oh, wow. Great. Yeah, that's she the problem with fired. policing. Sometimes firemen don't do their job properly either. We don't throw them in jail. You're talking about fire. Right. So here's what I mean why you talk about vengeance. So the only reason. Vengeance. Yes. They can't kill with impunity, especially when they know what they need to say. Can I explain it to you? Can I explain it to you? Again, Emmy, I know you're passionate, but you don't know fuck all about this subject. Really? Okay. You don't. 
what about so what about in the situation? So let me explain to you what happened there. Let me explain. So when she sees that, the problem is, is human beings see things differently. She could have seen him reaching into that car. When people are under high stress situations, they do not see reality. Your vision is not reality. It is an illusion constructed by your brain, barely different from a dream. So she made a fearful thing where she shot somebody. But the bottom line is, is that he got himself into that situation. He certainly was doped up. Things were very weird. And she was scared. And she pulled the trigger acting as a police officer. Would she have done that if she was a civilian driving by? There's no reason to believe that. So the only thing you can do for policy and to get justice is that she is obviously not fit to be able to be a police officer. So she can't be a police officer. And then you need to fix the system the best you can to make sure people who aren't capable of acting under those situations to be able to do it the thing is is you think that people can just react like they're robots and they can't never, first off there's training so some of these are going to happen no there yeah. is no training that can do this to you i don't believe that at all from everything i can tell the biggest issue is is when it comes to deadly force is that most people are either fight flight or fear they only Correct. do one of those three things. All three of those things are bad. And that's the vast majority of people. Now, there's a small amount of people who you will find in the military and in some other professions who don't yeah. have a biological fight, flight, or fear response, and they continue to think clearly. You're literally judging these people by the worst moment of their entire life. And that's huge because that worst moment of someone's life is taking somebody else's life. I understand that. But you asked them to do this job. I did not. You will continue to ask them to do this job unless you do you think there's going to be no police. I'm not asking them. I know that. you have it. So you, you what? So you think there should be no police? I no armed police. That. I said it should be very specific. Right. But, but but the thing is, is you don't get to determine out. that. The public I, again, does. But, again, Hold on, saying, Emmy. Emmy, you don't get to determine that. Exactly. And so when I'm, I'm the one that's saying it. You don't get to determine what that is. The community does. Yes, and I'm part of that community. And the community and the whole country has decided that police officers will have different exceptions because they are doing something that no one else is doing, and that is answering your call as a community to enact violence on your behalf, and there Don't, will always be mistakes. Again, there's not, there's too many. There's not too many when the problem is, is there are millions and millions of exchanges and so civil forfeitures. Let's go to civil forfeitures, right? It's wrong. Civil Period. Done. Yeah, great. Is, is the community asking for that? Yes. They're asking for that. Yeah, the vast majority think, of people think that if a drug dealer is going out there and he's selling drugs and he has 16 yeah, cars. Yeah, but this isn't, isn't with if you, they, this person has a drug on them. I I'm giving you the premise. Right? I'm giving you the premise. Great. So yes, the vast majority of the population would agree with that. Yes. Yes, and you've, and you've abused and manipulated what the people want. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true or not. You're making a claim that doesn't appear yes, to be true. Civil forfeitures are bullshit. Yeah, they so are. So you're saying that the civil forfeitures are happening where they're like, oh, there's drugs involved. They're not finding any drugs, but they're just finding large stacks of cash. Sure. We're manipulating the policy of what people were not asking for. Sure. We're not asking you to kill people and beat the shit out of them. We ask I, I don't think killing. No, the, no, the, the people in general definitely expect the police to respond and kill certain individuals. Yes. Yes, but they're not asking for you to kill certain individuals. Yeah, who... And you're extremely naive if you think that human beings can actually handle this thing with the perfection that you're requesting. Well, I think that we can because in regards to other countries in regards to murders, they don't have. The no one has the place. situation that occurs here. Yes, because we've created the situation. No, the situation is that there's a First and a Second Amendment right. No other country has the freedoms of here, so you're going to have more problems. Yes. And I will admit, I said it has been created here. Right, but it's created for a reason that we've, as a country, as the whole community as a whole, has determined was more important than safety, liberty. Yeah. And right. I've so said... you, do you think safety is more important than liberty? I think I think I think liberty is in regards to safety, though. I understand the argument. I think that's, I think that's a really, I think that's a tough question. Because but those who are willing to sacrifice safety for liberty deserve neither. I think that's a very accurate statement. I think I don't think that your rights should be 
trampled on. Right. So in a country, in a country with 330 billion citizens and like 400 million guns where people are allowed to be legally armed, a certain amount of fear will exist between the police and the population. And maybe, maybe this is actually the best you can humanly do. I would like to explore that and not believe it. But you guys, anyone making the argument against police brutality, you haven't done your homework enough to know these arguments and whether that's actually something that can possibly improve in the way that you think it can. It may be that this is actually the best that can be done with human beings. I don't think it is the best that can be done. Yeah, that's cool. That's your opinion. Well, no, because I could see it straight on. It's like an officer does not have to beat down fucking people. An officer does not have to do rubber bullets. That's not what I said. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm telling you is is that these are human beings. Hold on. These are human beings with millions and millions and millions of interactions. And there will always be a certain amount of, of exceptions of people losing their minds, having individual stress. Like you don't have any empathy. Like what do you think goes through a cop's mind that gets I to their have look, I have, look, I right, have but what do you think went through Betty Shelby's mind that she ended up killing Terrence McCrutcher? That's terrifying fear, right? Terrifying. That's a terrifying fear. Absolutely. And gonna, no, and you're gonna say that's not and you're gonna say that's not empathetic. But the issue is, is I believe that that's where training comes in. It's I the think same and you have problem. no evidence of that. Listen, listen, I'm saying in regards to that's what the point of think all you want. There's no fucking problem. evidence. Let's, Do your homework, me, Emmy. Can I, can I ask, can I, can I just literally answer you in regards to other professions? The point is in high stressful situations, this person would be more calm, right? No. Would be more calm. In the no. That's the point of No. What you're saying is your opinion that is not supported by any evidence. Policing to, is an exceptional. I'm not talking prof- about policing. I'm talking about professional. Profession, the policing profession is exceptional to every other one because in no other profession are you giving people the responsibility to take another person's life. It's literally their job. Mm, doctors had doctors, and look, there's issues with doctors, but you're doing. Dude, don't even talk about doctors when the number one cause of death in the country is medical malpractice. What it a is, fucking that, weak case! I'm not saying that. I'm first but up, that's I'm weak. Not, well, well, no, you're literally, I'm, that's you again, again, you're arguing no, for I'm my position. Up, no, I'm talking, listen, gosh, Mike, first off, I'm saying in regards to there's issues in the medical field as well. We're trying to and fight. And they that. kill at a higher rate than police. They do. And we have an issue with it. I never said that it's okay. When did I say it was okay? But we understand it, right? No, but again, this is, Mike, this is why this is getting very difficult is because you're, you're trying to make these arguments and I'm more fighting back of things that I'm not saying and you're making arguments of stuff that I've never said. Dude, I'm not this strong is one thing that we're, me and you are not having a conversation. We are. Because you're going to a spot that is like, the, the doctors are like, whoa, whoa, that's a bullshit argument. It's like, I'm actually saying that they make fucking huge mistakes. And right. Then I'm spending, and so you understand that minutes. police are going to make them, right? And then I'm making, then I'm saying three or four minutes explaining the situation. And that's what this, like for most of this conversation has been. If you say so. Uh, I, I think a lot of it's you running around versus I, trying to answer the questions. No, I, 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 I will right. answer questions. And right. well, no, so I still don't know what policy you want at all. And well, I have no, no idea. I no, I said it. No, I told you the policy. You just didn't agree with it. Because when I said a policy in regards to having the same uh, rights as humans, you said, well, cops just have that exception. And I was like, I told you what I wanted, and you said, well, cops just have that exception. Right, so you're going to create an environment where no one can reasonably right, be right. a cop. But that, but you said, what do I want to do? You asked, asked me, what right. was the situation? All right, so, your, so your, you policy, your policy that you want is that cops get treated exactly like civilians. It's not even that, so you don't even have the idea that we should treat civilians as good as cops. You want to punish cops well, now. I said, it's either, I said it's either or, because I think that the, I, I could give you an argument that the exact same way because no one would account for that if how can that be when you back, just said that no, if they would they needed cops. to lock the police up instantly no, if cops no i said if first up there's both systems that are have issues now if i put my knee into someone's throat and then could just go about my day there's also an issue but if you put your knee on their throat because you were holding them for the police after they just raped your daughter it'd be different right no, but even then, no, hold, you're saying that's not a that. difference, Emmy. If you were in your house, some and you came in, and you found somebody that was raping your daughter. You somehow managed to get the self. Okay, let's, you let's talk. See, see how everything's projection. You won't even let me finish a sentence. 
<laughs> brilliant. Mike, Mike, come on. I'm sitting here. Go uh, ahead. I'm, I'm switching it around because I want you to do another situation. I just want a thought experiment for one second. If you yeah. are in, going you're into your house and you find someone raping your daughter and you somehow maintain the self-control to pin them on the ground, call 911 and wait for the officer to come. But in that action, you ended up choking the person out and killing them. Do you? Okay, you, never mind. You're not even. That's okay. I Go ahead and jump at the excuse. Go. Question. Michael, Michael, you you, what was my question? Situation. What was my question? You said, first up, you're going, I just wanted to kind of pull you back. I want to go with the Derek Chauvin situation because that's about the that. one that's the knee in the throat. Because again, if someone's barging into my house and through the process that my knee went into that guy, trying to hold somebody off in an active situation where someone's being fucking murdered, that's possibly being raped in my wife, and they die in the process. Of course, that's a much different situation. And nobody is actually fighting against that. Nobody is protesting against that. So we have to make it equatable to what happened in Derek Chauvin. Derek Chauvin was handcuffed, held down by three other officers with his hand behind his back, not fighting back. People are saying, get off of him. That's what we're talking about. We have to make it equal now. Uh, okay. That's okay. not equal. No one's protesting that. Okay, so let's change it then. You find this hey, guy. Yeah, you dra- that's why I stopped you. All right. So we you find this. Easy. Okay. So you find this guy and you drag him out front of your house. He's handcuffed. You're waiting for the police arrived. You tell your neighbors that he just raped your daughter. And you're holding him to wait. And the police arrive too long and you accidentally end up choking him out. Okay. Okay. Do you think that you are going to be arrested right away? Do I think I'm going to be arrested right away? Mm-hmm. Well, no, because right then in regards this individual. Yeah. In that situation, I don't look in regards to policing. I can't really say if it happened inside of my home. I don't think so because we're already in a situation where all the police are going to know is that you're outside with them. They're not going to know anything. Exactly, else. that's the thing, and that's what's different. The fact is that now I'm outside doing it outside of my home. Sure. So I don't know in that situation. I could. Be I'm going to tell you, there's no chance. Okay. No chance. Plenty of black people kill other white people and black people and Asian people and never get arrested. Because they have circumstances. The circumstances matter. When someone is an employee that has doing the job that you specified and asked and is answering the call for a police call, actually a call from a citizen. This is not even an on view, which you would have a better argument for. This isn't an on view. This is a 911 call. Correct. And these hold dollar For a $20 counterfeit death. Maybe. I don't even know if that's true. So who cares? That's just the yeah, call. Who that's calls 911 call. is irrelevant and what the call for is absolutely fucking irrelevant. Okay. Right. So so he's answering a call from the community, doing the job the community has asked him to, going through the training level that the community asked him to, and following the policies and procedures that the, the community asked him to as a representative of the state. It is extremely different circumstance, just as it's an extremely different circumstance with the one I laid out for you. To deny that ex- exceptional experiment ex- ex- situation is, I don't know what the word is. Uh, I think it's slightly different. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why. I think the caller does have influence to it because if the person is saying this person just literally robbed my fucking house has a point Emmy, I don't care that you think that any cop should handle every 911 call as a blank slate I'm going to give you an example is I got a dude killed once because I thought an armed person call was an armed person call and it wasn't and I don't think that that's and I don't think that's happening right so your 911 call is irrelevant you go in with open eyes period exactly yes it's irrelevant correct and I, but I think that that's not what's happening. And what's happening is with, again, with the Derek Chauvin situation, in the situation with his neck, and I kind of want to bring up that example, because if that was happening, would that individual be arrested? Maybe not. If they were if they were acting as a civilian, making an arrest in the exact same situation, I think not. Of and course, it's going to depend that. on the individual DA. Obviously, we have a completely innocent police officer in Atlanta being charged with murder. So obviously, it depends on the DA. Correct. And I think the reason that one that one is a tricky one. It's not tricky I mean, one fucking bit. He's completely not, innocent. I know. I can tell you. The re- and I think the reason why that one is happening is because they're like, well, is that actually 
did you actually feel that your life was at risk? Because the guy, they knew that he didn't have a gun and he was using the paper. That's the only reason why I believe in that situation. That's crazy. Yeah. If you think that cop's not, that, that DA is not being racist and not placating to the fucking mob. Well, I think, look, is he placating? Yes, but I also think that there is. So an you're issue. charging an innocent man with murder to placate the mob? This is my well, problem with your it. side, no, Emmy. No, no, that's not it. Listen, Mike, there's an issue right now that is happening where officers in our current system, look, our current system is an issue. Mm -hmm. The current issue is right now. Cops are saying, I feared for my life mm -hmm. in a situation mm -hmm. where technically was their life actually at risk. Now, if the person had a gun and pointed it out. Would that matter? Why would that matter? Because Why would it I, matter if their life was actually at risk or not? Were you minority report? Well, I think because the issue is that's what needs to be. Played. No, that's not true at all. If I come into your house with a fake gun and point it to your fucking head. No, but again, we. But again, no, we, let me finish, we, Emmy. And it's not actually a real gun, and you kill me. Does it matter whether you are actually under threat or not? Matter? Yes, because I think the threat is we think that. No, if I came into gun. you with an unloaded gun, put it I to don't your. Know that. I exactly. Don't know that. But they know that because it was his taser that was already. He knows that. I don't they understand what you mean by that. The taser situation. The, the taser is a deadly weapon. It's not a question. That same DA charged some, a cop with using the taser, saying it was a deadly weapon. And I'm saying, what I, and the reason why I'm saying that is, this, is right now, the question is, are cops fearful for, for their lives when they kill people? A week ago, do I think, a week before it, do I think that would have happened? No. Right, so what's your better but plan? But but no, but no, this is, is the best the whole country has come up with. What well, is your plan? It's the same situation. I'll say this: in a situation like this is when you see an officer surrounding one person who has a knife, and there's nine officers and shoot this guy down because the cop, because of course the guy wielding a knife, they're ten feet away from him. He makes one movement and he shoots him. They so, shoot the guy. So right then, it's like, yeah, is there a reasonable fear that you feel that this homeless person at this moment, who's ten feet away from you, is actually going? To kill right, you. your problem is, is it actually happens. So when the cops are looking at video after video of it actually happening, then yeah. But didn't you say that they're also pumping you full of that when you first of get Of course in? they are, but I'm telling you, this is just like you're pumping yourself full of this other shit. They're doing the same thing from the other angle. So what would your plan be? That they can only shoot when, when objectively? Who determines objectively? for fear of life. Yeah, I, well. You have to have a better plan before you bitch about the one that's in current. Well, I believe that you still have to, I think you have to, I think you have to take that away. I think it's someone- So when someone, can a cop shoot then? Huh? When can a police officer shoot? Well, when I feel a that- A cop does not have this time, he's dead already. When should a I'm cop saying, shoot, Emmy? Go, 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 go. They don't have time to think. They're like this. When it's just going down, it's like this constantly. What is it going to be, Emmy? What's it right. going to be? How much long do they have? What's their plan? What is the plan? When can they shoot? When can they shoot, Emmy? When can they Michael. shoot? When can they shoot? Michael. Exactly. Hey. Hold on. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask a follow-up question. You and the Marines, what is the protocol in regards to you shooting somebody? It depends on the, the, the situation, so I don't know. What is the protocol? There, there isn't one. It, it depends on the individual situation. When, I know, but can you shoot if someone just pulls out a gun? Can you shoot? Yeah, absolutely, depending on the situation. I, I don't know. Your, your theater has different what, I, guess, I guess what are the restrictions in regards to a being in the Marine Corps in regards to when you can actually discharge your weapon compared to a police officer when they can discharge No, no so, so I understand that in, some, uh, in like Afghanistan at certain times they've had to have been shot at first. I get that, but that's not actually the, the military rule. And if you think police have to wait to get shot at first, good luck getting police. Hey. So your 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 argument is they have to be shot at with a gun. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying and there are other measures in regards to the government. Dude, stop the, stop giving me this. What is? Yeah, I'm giving you an example because you. Even I don't want me. an example. I want to know the law you're going I'm to write you because I think you're kind of. What's the law away? you're going to write, Emmy? What's the policy for when a police officer can shoot and can't shoot? Well, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. What's I think it's the policy? 
Then unless 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 an actual weapon is currently, an officer could use deadly force when reasonably uh, judged to be in fear of their life or the life of somebody else. What is Correct. your replacement? Well, I think you take that away and actually have guidelines on when you could actually. What pull it is out. those guidelines? What is your replacement? When the gun has actually been presented. That oh, is so they I'm have to positively identify a gun. What about the same situation? Yeah, I just, hold I, on. I just took a black pipe when I came into your room and I pressed it up against your head and you spun and shot me. Yeah, the guy knew what he was doing. If I came up to you with a black pipe and I held it to the back of your head okay. and I told you that I was going to rob you, you okay. turn and shoot me with a gun, but I had a black pipe. Okay. Is yours, are you going to prison now? Well, the person behind you is presenting a weapon that is he's using it as a gun right again, so how no do you determine that so if the person pulls out a cell phone how do you determine that difference because a cell phone is much different than a gun and not, not in the heat of the moment bitch you have never done anything your whole life have you in what anything physically threatening first off, in regards, first off, have you ever done anything physically threatening your whole life have you ever yeah. chased an armed person down a, a dark alley have you ever well, been the first one to go off, into off, an active off. scenario again, again i'm looking at situations in regards to protecting themselves in regards to when i'm asking you what the fuck you've ever done to think you have an opinion for this have i stopped fights have i gotten into very aggressive situations yes do I right. know if they're fully on? So yes, you I've think that you would be able to yes. tell at 2 a.m. Hold on me. Yes. Dude, you're out of your fucking mind. Out of my mind for what? You asked me and I you, said, yeah. You, you're not going to be able to tell. It doesn't work like that. Real shit does not work that in your dream world. There isn't even time. You can't even give me a goddamn policy. I'm asking you, impressing you for words, and you can't come up with them. You think you're going to respond to a deadly force scenario with perfection? I'm, that's why I asked you about the military. And you, and then you kind of brushed past it, and you had policy based on the military. And for some odd reason, you passed by it completely because there is policy around it. They couldn't do it against brandishing weapon, and then you just say, "Well, that's bullshit." In, in Vietnam, again, what was I, the rule? Again, in regards to it, in regards to the military, you know the policy, and you're not, and that's kind of how this whole conversation what policy? Is. There is no policy. It depends on the individual or original rules of engagement. Okay. A general will define rules of engagement. For that individual theater, it's not a blanket rule. The American needs a blanket rule, obviously. Yes. So what's that rule? Your rule is only once they can tell that it's a handgun. What about knives? What about the cops who have been killed with bare hands? What about people getting hit with vehicles? What about people that have AIDS taking a syringe and stabbing officers in the arms? And who's protesting against this? I'm who's asking you what the policy should be. I'll you don't up, know. I'm bringing up a point that you even said in regards to discharging a weapon in regards to What the should the policy be? You're saying that it should be you can only do it when a, a weapon has been clearly identified? Yeah. I think there's many different situations. If is that your that, rule? That is one Would of you them, be yeah. willing to be a police officer under that scenario? Would I? Yeah. For me personally, yes. So you think you should have to clearly distinguish a threat that's that's to your so like if a if a five foot two female ha, that weighs 95 pounds was brandishing a three inch knife does that qualify trying to stab you with it if the person's trying to stab you with it then that's different there there's no one's so they're trying, trying to stab you with a three inch knife i'm asking you so again this is how this that's is how you blame threat. me for no one's fighting against if someone's gonna get if someone's right. attacking the cop the issue is no, I'm asking about your policy, Emmy. What is your policy if a five foot two female is trying to stab you with a three inch knife? And, by, and what were you saying? My policy that they can't shoot them and kill I'm them? asking you whether the cop can, if you are a cop, can you, as your physical size and stature, if a 90 pound female was trying to stab you with a three inch knife, are you allowed to shoot or not? To try to deca to try to, right. there is only one way to shoot somebody. That shoot center mass for deadly force. The I idea of shooting people in the knee and stuff like that is fucking people that watch too much TV. Aims and all that other stuff. That's tough to do. From that close, especially from that close, I think from that close is very tough. Yes. Uh, from from seven feet away. From seven feet away, 
shoot the kill from seven feet away. No. All right. So, so what she's, she's you're just going to let her stab you okay. or what? No, I think again, again, this goes so much deeper. You're you saying this that. all has to be clearly defined. And you won't define a single instance. Hold on. I'm saying, hold on, I, hold on for one second. I gotta go, I'll be right back. Pause. Girl. Hello. Sorry about that. I had to put my headphones on. Sorry if I missed you. Okay. She had to pee, I assume. Yeah. Um, so I really want to get to policies and have yeah. productive yeah. conversations about what we need to do that's different. So how do you feel about taking some time to draw out what your deadly use of force policy would be? All right. Because the issue is this. The reason why I set up this call to begin with in this interview was because of, again, from the four to five years ago in regards to coming up with the solution that I felt that you wanted to make. So I was actually using you as possibly a resource to come up with these solutions from before. So this is why this is kind of turned in this way is because, yes, I can admit that in regards to this conversation, I was basing it off of something that was four to five years ago. And I was coming more for you as like a resource in regards to fixing policing in regards to policing. That's what I'm talking about, Emmy. Again, but again. It's just it's not the, what you want to hear, dog. It's not, it's just, no, it's not that what I what I want to hear. It's just it would it's a different, it's a completely different conversation. And it's a I disagree entirely. Who? I think this is the same conversation. The problem is is we need to go to the next level and there's a refusal an absolute refusal to go to the next level i have suspicions about why that is but i don't actually what know your, what are your suspicions i think that when people are victims of things or feel as though they are victims of things it's very easy to want vengeance and see things to that different light but it, when it comes to actually su uh, supplying and going through solutions that will be equal for all it's not the policing is not actually bad enough to be worth the effort and i think that i guess that's and i guess that's what this thing will happen yeah you think it you think people actually care about solutions and i've been spending four or five years realizing they actually don't they care about power they care about vengeance and they care about them being uh unnecessarily voted up like favored in some way it's not about ending racism it's about flipping racism I, no, I don't think it's about flipping racism because i don't i don't want it. no i understand you don't see that i'm just telling you where my perspective is coming from and that my ultimate evidence for that is that i have been pushing for solutions and people to actually focus on what will be effective and i don't get that i get emotions i get the wrong and and it's like at some point in time you have to say okay 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 the past is wrong. What is next? Correct. And what's Correct. next has to be a, like if your problem is with the deadly use of the use of deadly force, then you need to figure out what it's actually going to be. And then you need to push with it because the problem is, is that's not even in policy and procedure. That's an actually federal case law. That is that that's a fucking Supreme Court issue. Correct. So that is a long term issue. You're not going to be there's no buildings that can be burned down. There's no protesting that can take place for a lawyer to need to sit down, find the right case and pursue that to the Supreme Court to overturn the judicial ruling that deadly force is defined as as when an officer fear fe feels that they are in reasonable fear of their life or someone else's life. That is case law. Only the Supreme Court can change that. Nobody else. They're not. And I believe that with 
protests and having it out there, it keeps the conversation. But you back. can't because none of the protesting is saying we need to overturn this law. We need to focus on this. Instead, the focus is on they vengeance and they oppression did. Olympics. They did. They did qualified immunity. That was a huge thing. Qualified immunity all- for twenty five thousand dollars does absolutely nothing. This is what I'm talking about. I know. Emmy, I can explain each individual thing to you when it comes to solutions, but the, when you read in a newspaper that someone works for, that something is benefiting police reform, I assure you, you are being lied to. I'm not, here's what I'm, the issue is this. Why is indemnity yeah. good? Explain. Well, all I'm saying is this, is again, you might not agree that that's far enough, but again. It's not that it's far enough, it literally does nothing. Great, but again, you're saying in regards to policy. There's policy. Do I admit that that's the strongest thing? He's like, well, what have they done? Qualified immunity. Great. That's a policy. You might not think it's far enough. You might think it's weak. You might think that's doing nothing. But it's not even weak. But, it's it's again, literally doing nothing. Okay. But again, you're saying that it's doing nothing. But again, you're saying, what are they doing? You're saying nothing. I'm saying they're doing this. Great. It's not enough. But what Great. does that but do? What does that do? Policy. You're saying policy. Again, no, what's different? Other- what's different, though? It has to be different. Oh. You can't give me the same policy and then claim it's different. What's no, different? Saying- Again. No, no, no. You use this qualified immunity thing so everybody can understand and so you can understand. Qualified immunity means that in Colorado, they changed it so that for the first $25,000, only the first $25,000 of when an officer violates policy and does some kind of like whatever it is, whenever they're suable, it doesn't matter what for, but whenever they're suable, the first $25,000 goes off. So the FOP is going to purchase a cluster of insurance that covers the first $25,000 for every single employee and you have done nothing. Right. Nothing. And again, I'm not saying, and you, you, we're going. But it's into, not a policy change just because you changed so, something that doesn't actually do anything. See, this is how they placate people. I'm not. It's not placating. I'm not even. You, trust me. We're not what Colorado about, did is placating. I don't think it is even close to enough. Trust me. I do not believe in politicians that are even the ones that are truly fighting this. Again, you brought up well, what policy change? That's that one policy, and that's it. Is it but dumb? it's not this a change. It, but again, it's not enough change, and it's probably going to be jack shit and peanuts in regards to change. Right, but peanuts. why are people pushing for that? Because well, you because have been fed have that. Because you're trying to find ends. Everything no, is no one's looking for an in. There's no one that's pulling up any scholars. There's no one that's researching. <laughs> Instead, their articles that they're researching are Vox or fucking MSNBC. No and one is actually getting data and finding a plan. Are, trying to do that they're not act like they're not i have been around and been on the ground it's not happening bro it's not happening so i used to always freak out when people would say hey where's the people that care about black on black crime and i would freak out and i would say dude you're insane there are a million organizations that care about black on black crime and that remains true but it ain't these fucking protesters You know, things, two these, things can exist at the same time. And they what are I, doing this, but I think a lot of these are in regards to deflecting from the main conversation. No, things like this, that I'm telling you the main conversation. The main conversation is lead poisoning. The main conversation is income inequality. The main conversation America, is violence being a biological malfunction, not rational choice. The I main conversation... I, huh? I don't believe that, there's, that violence is only determined based on lead that makes that no it's not so only much. lead i said that's the leading correlate Le- so it's the most again, it's the most important factor that contributes to violence so when we're seeing so when we're seeing elements type it in right now type it in right now on your computer type lead and violence correlation yeah but we could also see that we're currently in a war overseas that is completely not based on lead we're seeing people no that's not true that's not true that's not false false false. false false emmy the middle east it was the last countries to stop using lead at gasoline. And right now, the only two countries that still use lead at gasoline are fucking Iraq and Yemen. And Syria? With they did. Strikes? They're still in the window. They haven't gotten out of the 22-year window. So drone strikes is not a sport. Even terror. No, that's aggression. 
I, then that's the thing. That's a great. You're saying one. You haven't thought about me. these issues enough to actually understand. No, because that's ridiculous. Because that's ridiculous. If no. you're saying that that's aggression and not violence. Violence and aggression must be separated. When a person is going through a mental illness and they commit an act of violence, that is extremely different than a soldier pulling the trigger for a sniper shot. I'm talking about drone strikes specifically. That is nothing is that but a sniper pulling violence? the trigger shots. The same thing. Thank you. So is that again? Is that violence or aggression? Aggression. Okay. They are doing that because they think they're protecting America. No? Or do you think the military yeah, members are just fucking mercenaries? Gonna... Huh? Do you think military members are just mercenaries or do you think they're doing the right thing for the country? Whether they're right or wrong, you're judging on intent. What's their intent? Mm, I think, I don't believe in, look, I don't believe in the wars that we're doing overseas. That's not what no. I asked. See how you skirt it's these questions? It's so weird. It's a, it's a, it's a, some of these are just yes or no answers. In regards to the soldiers that are there, I think there's soldiers that are there fighting, trying to protect the United States, but I also think that there's other people- Of course, there are always exceptions. Them. When you have a dad enough set big enough, yes, you will always have outliers. system is also, I don't believe in regime changes overseas. I that understand that, but these are not the decisions of individual military members. Yes, and You're I think- You're talking about the generals and the presidents. I'm asking I you- issues. I'm asking all- you about the military members themselves. The reason why I'm telling you it is not violence, it's aggression, is because the difference between violence and aggression is violence is an uncontrolled response to a biological malfunction. Aggression is when you're com- doing something that you probably don't want to do, thinking it will help everyone more in the long run. So being- the people in the Civil War that went and killed confederate soldiers was that violence or aggression the people going when we go and killed the nazis was that violence or aggression i think it's when we returned fire on pearl harbor was that fucking violence or aggression that's there's i think they're both violence but one is in a different type of way that one is yes once okay then your definition means nothing then it means in regards to defense Okay, so violence in regards to defense is aggression. That's the definition, okay? Okay. So that's a different thing entirely. Violence from police officers is either aggression or sometimes is violence. When it's violence, we need to associate the issue with violence, get the person separated from society, because this is very different. If a cop murdered somebody because they made a mistake doing their job and their judgment of reasonable fear, versus when they're a, a cop and they're like serial killers, those are different, right? There are, but it's again- it's Right, so a cop that accidentally kills, so the cop that killed, unless you're arguing, but let's just say, okay, the cop that killed uh, Eric Gardner, what about two which, which where it looks much more like an accident like chauvin doesn't i can understand if you don't think that looks like an accident but with 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 uh eric garner you can see how it could have been an accident by the officer that killed him so so how do so how do you determine whether it's violence or it's aggression because the entire they require entirely different responses if it's aggression we need to change policy we need to think about the training. We need to think about who we hire. And we, we don't necessarily need to punish that officer. They just can't be police anymore. Now, if it's violence, if this is murder, then we need to treat this very differently. We need to investigate it medically. We need that person off the streets. And we need to, to figure out what we can do to make sure these people in general are never like this, not just cops. So it's very different when someone's a murderer, violence, versus aggression a mistake if you mix those two you're very very misinformed about human reality i but again it's it's tough and to you doesn't always mean you i usually you plurally i know okay it's when we look at it in regards to like tamir rice for example for that one we could look at is that violence or is that aggression i, I it's hard to draw that line it's, it's difficult and because i, think, and I, and that's I would call that do. violence but uh, legally, we're going to be stuck with aggression. Yeah, and I think that's the issue. And that's what I'm talking about is we can't determine which one for If you can't officers. determine 100%, you don't do it. But if a cop goes around and this is the third guy, he, the third black guy he...